Hey everyone, so today we're doing something a little bit different and we are making jewelry. Uh, it's really, really simple. All this is, is like a slice from a two by four from a different project. And it's like a few millimeters thick. Um, I have another one that I make too that's a little bit thinner. So don't worry about going too, too thin, but you wanna make sure they're thick enough pieces to um, put eye hooks in to put through a necklace. And anyway, so I'm just starting off by sanding like the crap out of this thing to make sure it's nice and smooth because it's pretty cheap wood so it splinters pretty easily. Um, and then I'm also using the sander to like round out the corners and stuff and just overall make it like nice and like look good. Um, after that uh, is all cleaned up, I got some linseed oil and I'm just like rubbing it on. It like helps seal the wood and gives it kind of a cool color too, but it'll uh, protect it is what it's doing. And I decided not to stain because this thing was going on really dark at first. And so I switched over to linseed oil and it's a nice um, kind of like light yellowish antique looking finish is what you'll end up with. See, there you go. Uh, what I thought was really cool about this, like I got this idea from, like I said, I was doing a different project. And I had to like chop off some slivers of wood to make them um, these two two by fours equal. There's the eye hooks I'm using, by the way. They're just like picture hanger eye hooks. Um, anyway, I had to shave down these like two two by fours, uh, just a little bit. And so I got them in my miter saw and I did that. And then, um, I ended up with these two like really unique pieces, um, even though it's from the same block of wood and they just looked really cool. And I instantly got the idea that they'd make really cool like pendants. And so I decided to make them. Anyway, here I got my smallest drill bit I have and pre-drilled a hole into the top of them, uh, a pilot hole, to um, put my eye hooks in because they wouldn't just like go in by brute force and the pilot hole just like, well, gives them like a kind of a landing strip. And anyway, so I got that on there and then I'm using polycrylic to seal them and add some sheen. And so I'm just like dunking it in my little like tin of polycrylic there and brushing off the excess with that sponge, uh, spongy foam brush. Um, I put two coats on, you sand in between them, in between the coats, and you'll end up with like a really nice protective uh, sheen on them. And it goes on kind of milky, but it dries crystal clear. And here it is all done. You can see that shine on it. I might even add another coat of poly. Uh, but otherwise, these are ready to go.